Hey guys, Chani here again with yet another makeup tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make our Lady Loki. So first things first, you have to set your hair. And you can see I already did that in rollers. This was set overnight. And after you put all the rollers in, just blast it with a little bit of hairspray. I use a Tresemme. Just because I like them better and it smells glorious afterwards. But so anyway, once you've got it set overnight, you're ready to start your makeup. So we're starting right off the bat with a mineral powder foundation in the shade Ivory 2. You can see how I'm going to do this. I kind of, I'm kind of going in circles, but I'm always going down. Down is important. And down is important because you're... The, the skin cells on your face, they overlap, like fish skin, or like fur, if you want to call it that. You also have all these little baby hairs on your face. Well, if you start doing this to put your foundation on, you're going to waste product one because you're getting it underneath the skin cells, and that's kind of gross. And two, it's going to make you look like you've got peach fuzz. You know, and that's also very gross. So you can see the mineral powder foundation? You, you can whip it on real quick. And that's, a, and that's one of the reasons why I love it. Shyster! So you see, you whip it on really quickly, and the good thing about it is that you don't have to use a powder over it. So now the next step would be cover up if you need it, which, as you guys can see, I do. Don't you just hate it like when you have those cold sores that just never heal? It, it's horrible. And then you can take your mineral powder and you just dust right over that. And that'll set your... <laughs> that got my mouth. <coughs> got in my nose too. Anyway, that sets your cover up. Oh, my eyes are watering. So the next thing that you want to do are your eyes. Now, I'm actually going to go top down with this. So, starting with the eyebrows, ending with the lips. I am using soft black for the uh, brow defining pencil. I'm also using a brow brush. I swear to you guys, I will do a whole tutorial just on eyebrows one of these days. Because I'm just so passionate about them. But, um... The way that you do your eyebrows, you're not drawing an eyebrow. What you're doing is you're doing just short strokes, like you saw me doing. And then you're moving it with your brush. This makes it look a lot more natural. And right now you can just see the difference between the two sides of my face. When, you know, the eyebrow that's done and the eyebrow that's not. This is because the eyebrows are the frame of the face. You can take the most beautiful picture in the world. And if you put it in a shitty frame, it's going to look really shitty. But, you can take a not so nice picture and put it in a gorgeous frame, and it's going to look a lot better. So, if you have good eyebrows, you're going to look great. If you have bad eyebrows, I don't care if you're the most gorgeous person in the world. If you've got bad eyebrows, you're going to look bad. Oh, 
Okay. Eyebrows are done. That was the easy part. So next up, I'm using the Mary Kay at Play Just for Eyes eyeshadows. You guys can tell I'm using Mary Kay a lot. Um, I'm a Mary Kay independent beauty consultant, which is good for you guys because it means that if you see anything you guys like and if you want it to get the exact same look that I just got, you can get it directly from me instead of going out and supporting some multi-million dollar corporation, you can help a small business grow. You know, an American small business grow. Unless you're not American, and then, well, who cares? Well, you might care. I don't know. I'm going to stop putting words in your mouth. Uh, you want to take uh, an eye crease brush, which looks just like this. You're going to dip it into your gold. The reason why I like this palette is because it does have like Loki's three colors. Green, gold, and a dark. This should be black, but it's brown instead. But we're going to use brown. That's okay. You're barely going to see the brown once it goes on, but it's going to make a difference. So, all over the eyes. And what you also want to do is just get it right under your brow bone a little bit. If you have inset eyes like mine, you want to go up to the brow bone. If you have outset eyes, you want to just go up to your crease. Now you know if you have inset eyes or outset eyes. Uh, you can paint the entire map of the 50 United States, 50, or 50, 48 continental United States, onto your eye. Put it on your, you open it up, you might see a little tip of Florida and some of Maine. And that's about it. You do that for a set of outset eyes. You know, tattoo the United States, open them up, you see all 50 states. 48 continental states. This is really sad that I'm an American and I don't know this. Well, I do know it, but it's just easier to say 50 and 40. So now you want to have your sponge at the ready because this is a messy, messy, messy product. You also want to have your foundation brush still at the ready because, like I said, these are messy colors. They will get everywhere. Oh, wait, not closing that up just yet. So that's done. And the gold is really the color that you're going to see. Which is why we're using the gold primarily. The brown is just to open your eyes up a little bit. So now we're going to use the eye smudger brush in the brown. Now the brown does have some flecks of gold in it. And that makes it look really nice. The reason why this is going to be really difficult, you, how you want to load up your brush is you want to load up both sides of the brush and the very tip. Oh my god. See these colors get everywhere, they're getting in my lashes. Got to move. You want to smudge a little line halfway in your eye. and then blend it up. This is going to take a lot of practice to get this to look just right. Yeah, you know, I have been doing makeup for 10 years now. You know, I, I know how to do this, how to whip this on real quick. This step will take practice. And you guys can see me constantly, like, doing this with my sponge. That is because there's this line called out into infinity. And that line goes from the inside of your nose, corner of your eye, and back. I'm going to get that in my hair. Just like this. And all your makeup, you want to 
live along that line. It's just gonna make it look a lot better, it's gonna make your eyes look bigger. It's the whole reason why we're doing this. Because if you start to get down here, your eyes are gonna droop. You're gonna look like this. And it's gonna look really bad. So let me get the other side real quick. And then once I get the other side done, I'm going to have to stop the video really quickly and then turn it right back on because my camera has this really bad habit of liking to turn off on me. So I have to beat it, beat it to the pass. You know, like one of those. Like I said, like I've been doing this for 10 years. I know how to whip this stuff on really quickly. Alright, turn it off and turn it right back on. Where am I? Oh my gosh, there's gold everywhere. I'm gonna have to clean that up later. This is done. Next, next is, now it's time for eyeliner. Eyeliner is going to be a bitch to do for people that don't know how to do it, because we're using a liquid eyeliner. There is a trick to doing this. You don't just draw a line. You go short, back and forth strokes. Let me show you. You're going to go from the inside corner of your eye, and it's really short, short strokes. You want to constantly go back and forth over the line you just created. Try not to look up when you're doing this, because you don't want to smudge what you've done, and you don't want to get black all over what you've already done. So there we go. A nice, solid line. Now be careful when you use this because as it turns out I'm actually allergic to this it, um, it burns a little bit in the corner of my eye but it's the only thing that I have it's the only liquid eyeliner I own I know, makeup for 10 years is the only liquid eyeliner I own it, it, it's pathetic but um the truth. For some reason Mary Kay is discontinuing this probably because people have been allergic to it. So find a liquid eyeliner from one of those multi-million dollar corporations. Seriously. Okay let me whip on the other eye. Now, like I said, this is going to take a lot of practice. You know, I can do this now without having to go back and forth a lot. Oh, you know what's a really good liquid eyeliner? Um, it's called Jet Set by Smashbox. Um, and that's nice, but you just have to be really quick with it because it sets almost instantly. Um, so that, so what we're going to do on the bottom is we're just going to go halfway in the eye. You know, we're not going to rim the entire eye with the liquid eyeliner. If you have like a little like Chinese wooden fan, now is the time to use it so that you're not using your hands. But so now what we're going to do is we are going to make a wing. And that's really easy. You want to follow that out into an infinity line and flick. Just flick. And then kind of like connect the dots almost. 
and fill it. Now you want to only go about an eighth of the way in on the line that you just made. Like where, like where you see the white of your eye start, that's where your line starts. Draw it in and then fill it. Super duper easy. Click. Draw a line. Fill in. Ta-da! Easy. We're done. So now, okay, the next thing we're going to do is lashes and I have to turn the camera off again and turn it back on. I, I just want to make sure that you guys are going to be able to get this because I tried doing this one the day before and it shut off right as I started to do blush and then turned back on when I was doing my lips. So, eyelashes. Fake eyelashes. Um, trim them, please. Trim them to your eye before you put them on because nobody has eyelashes that big. Or they, no one has an eye that wide. Except maybe Oprah. So you guys have to trim down your lashes. Please trim them. Or else they're gonna like pinch either on the inside corner of your eye or on the outside corner of your eye. Uh, you're gonna be uncomfortable all day. So now lashes just need a little bit of glue. And you do wanna get a separate lash glue. Blow on them a little bit. Use the fan on them a little bit so that the glue gets a bit tacky. Be real careful when you put them on. I have to lean forward into the mirror to do this a bit. And there we go. Now I've been doing, I've been putting eyelashes on for also 10 years. So I, I, like I said, I know how to put them on. Most of you probably don't. And it will be a weird feeling at first, you know, wearing fake eyelashes, because you'll see them. But after a while you'll forget that, that they're there. You know, you'll, you get used to them right quick. Again, little Chinese fan, if you have them, use them. The eyelashes are done. Now just take some mascara. I am using the Ultimate Mascara. And then a little volume. And this just kind of, I should let that dry a bit more. This just kind of helps to, uh, to glue them together. Camera turns off and turns right back on. Oh, I need a tissue. Keep this tissue. If you have a tissue, keep it. I know I'm just gonna put some out in it, but it's okay. He's okay, boss. He's okay. We're gonna use the other side later. Um, where was I? Right. Contour and blush comes next. So for my contour color, I am using the bronzing, mineral bronzing powder, Desert Sun. And you want to take your fan brush, one of the only things you can't get from Mary Kay. You want to feel around for your cheekbone. After about three times of doing this, you're going to know where your cheekbone is. Place the fan directly under your cheekbone. You know, these things are made to be bent. 
and just do one of these. And do it on both sides. Better to put on more than less. I also kind of want to do it under the jaw a little bit. Just to make you look very mean. And if you want to, a bit on the inside of your nose. Just if you want. So that actually goes on really quick. Next is blush. This is a blush brush. And I'm using the blush Citrus Bloom. This is a blush brush, big and fluffy. Because you want to do it like this. Feel for your cheekbone again. Place it at the top of your cheekbone. Bend and flick. Just like this. Because that is how women blush. We blush from the top down. Little girls blush from the apple back. So this goes real quick. Just bend the brush, please. Uh, you take your powder brush just kind of, and just blend them both down with your powder brush or with your foundation brush if you'd like. Because next we're ready to do lips. I'm using the, I'm actually using the Steely Style Red Lip Liner, and I am also using uh, True Dimensions Firecracker. So, let's get the liner done first. Liner is the hardest thing you're going to do through this entire makeup, because to, to get it done right takes a lot of practice. I mean, I've been doing this for 10 years and I still don't know how to do it right. But the best way is to make dots and then connect the dots. Dot one, dot two, dot three. Connect the dots. Make as many dots as you want all over your lips. And Once you've had enough practice doing it, ah, you won't need the dots anymore. See? Ten years. Still not doing it right. But the lip has three parts. It's like a shell. It has the top, the front, and the bottom. Um, you want your lip liner to go on this front part, not on the shelf, and not on the bottom. Oh, it's gonna look really weird. Looks really weird talking with just lip liner. Lip brush. The, the other only thing you can't get with Mary Kit. I don't know what. Then you fill in. Ta-da! And your makeup is done. Real simple, right? Remember that tissue? Mwah. You just blot to get rid of any excess. Okay. Makeup is done, so camera's gonna go off and then go right back on. Good. Good, 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 good. So now we're ready to do the hair. Where's my comb? Be right back.
found it. Um, you want a wide toothed comb for when you're doing this. I just had to quickly close the door. Bree is still sleeping. So, remove the curlers. Remember I said lip liner was the hardest? Yeah, well, this is going to take the longest. Oh, so guys, I'm going to tell you something real quick. If you go on any of our videos and you type in the comments, in all capitals, BANANAS, I will give you all virtual cookies. The reason for this is because we have this running joke. Uh, when we were at a convention recently, uh, our, one of our friends was doing a skit, and she was like, oh, if you guys are going out for food, can you pick me up some bananas? I need them. So we were kidding about the bananas, and whenever anyone says bananas to Brie, she, like, dies laughing. So if any of you guys comment with bananas, I will give you virtual cookies. I will give you all virtual cookies. So please, comment bananas, because I want to see Brie die laughing. Just don't tell her that I told you to do that, or she'll kill me. So anyway, here we go. We've got this nice, curly bob, but this is not what we want. We want it to be long and wavy. So we're going to take our wide tooth comb, and we want to brush them out. Just like this. It's all tangled, it's all tangled. Now, I have naturally, like, super curly hair, but my hair doesn't take to when I curl it very well. Like, imagine that. So these curls won't last the day. Yeah. Just like this. Now, these bags. God damn, like, I'm so glad I asked my hairdresser for bangs, but at the same time, I'm not, because reasons. But so here we go. Here is our completed Lady Loki hair that didn't take long at all. Spray it with hairspray. You guys can yell at me later for destroying the environment. You know when you can yell at me for destroying the environment? After you use one of these hairsprays and your hair stays in all day long, then you can yell at me about destroying the environment with these hairsprays. Then and only then. I'm a theater girl. We use aerosol hairsprays. Anyway, this is your completed Lady Loki face. You know, face and hair. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will, uh, once again, if you liked anything that you saw in here, you want it for cosplay, or you just want it for, you know, for yourself, uh, I'm going to put my website down in the comments below, and you guys can go ahead and purchase anything that you saw here today. And you're helping an all-American small business. You're helping a broke college student get through school. So, there you go. Also, if you guys are curious about anything that I did, don't be afraid to leave comments. Uh, I'm going to put my email down there too. You guys can email me any questions that you have, and I'll try and answer them. I'll 
I get enough questions, I'll do a whole Q&A session about them. I've got a couple of tutorials coming up for other things. And yeah, if you guys if you guys want to see any specific tutorials for me to do, leave them in the comments below or email me whatever tutorials that you want to see. And I'll do them for you guys. Because right now, I mean, I'm a low-key cosplayer. All I kind of do is low-key. So, give me more things to do, please. And I love you guys. And I will see you next time. Mwah, mwah. Bye.